Express is a very cost-effective way of creating 100% royalty-free soundtracks for your edited QuickTime videos. Abletat Express uses the internal sounds of the Macintosh. Composing is simple and fast using Abletat Express. Express is also designed for people using DAWs, digital audio workstation applications such as Apple's GarageBand, Logic or DigiDesign's Pro Tools. Express exports its soundtracks in a range of Pro Audio formats including MIDI, which is what we're going to do in this tutorial. We are going to compose using Express and then we're going to export the composition as MIDI and import it into Apple's GarageBand where we will continue editing, arranging and adding some effects. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is drag and drop a QuickTime file onto the Express icon. Express will then analyze the video for its length and color content. When this is complete you'll see two picture windows appear. The first one has the QuickTime video in it and the second has the color timeline which displays the color saturation in the picture. Both picture windows play in sync. To begin a composition all you need to do is to press the compose button which is on the lower right hand side of the picture window. When you do this a compose panel appears. For this video we're going to use the retro tech band from the band selection menu. Then select tech foundation from the presets menu. Then press OK what we have done now is selected a band or a style of music and a preset for that band. Abletat Muse will now compose music for that video clip that will match the video's duration in the style of the band selected. OK, let's pause it here. First of all, I don't really need two melodies in this video, so I'm going to enable three instruments using the solo buttons. Melody 2, bass and drums. Since I have these tracks soloed now, I don't need the effects track muted. Now it's time to do some advanced arranging and editing. So let's press the Compose button again, and this time on the Compose panel, press Advanced. Now, an extended window will appear. In this window, we can now make a series of adjustments to the preset we've already selected. So, we will begin by looking at the Compose methods, and here we select Freestyle and Direct. Briefly, the difference between the two composition methods is that the melodic option composes music, and the structure of that music is affected by the colour, whereas in Freestyle, the melodies are affected by the levels of colour saturation. So now that you have selected Freestyle and Color Direct, go over to the right hand side and in the color selection select the three colors that are dominant in the color timeline which are white, lime green and orange. Now let's make some adjustments to tempo, complexity and jingle. The composition was a little slow before so let's move the tempo up by using the slider or just typing in the area underneath it. You can also select the complexity here. This creates more notes in the melody section. So we will set that from number 2 to number 3. And we will also increase the jingle. The jingle changes how much the melody repeats itself. Now let's move down to the drum patterns. It's set right now to number 4. This is the complexity of the drum pattern. We can make this a little less complex by moving that from 4 to 3. Now press OK. Now let's spend some time arranging the composition. All arrangements happen on the timeline in the main UI and to arrange a composition you need to use keyframes. If you look on the lower right hand side of the main UI you'll see the keyframe icon. By clicking that a keyframe is placed on the timeline wherever the playhead is positioned. Alternatively 
Instead of clicking on the keyframe icon, you can also tap the E key. When a keyframe is inserted, an inspector window pops up, and this allows you to select a variety of parameters for that particular keyframe. In this case, we want to select instrument, then bass, and then the sound crunch, and then apply. This is going to change the bass sound inside the composition. You may have noticed when you were playing the composition back that there was a change in the music that happened at around 16 seconds or measure 9. So let's play around with this a little bit. I can extend the timeline using the slider on the bottom left of the interface, inserting another keyframe at about 16 seconds at measure 9. Now with this keyframe, we are going to create a volume event and leave the volume set as it was. Then we're going to move down a bit on the timeline and create another keyframe, this time setting the volume to zero. Now, using markers in the menu, select volume fade for each keyframe. This links the two keyframes together and fades the volume from keyframe one to keyframe two. And in this case, it's gonna fade down. So now let's move down to 32 seconds and repeat the process, but in reverse. So volume down on the first keyframe and volume up on the second. And again, select volume fade for each keyframe. And in this case, we're fading the melody up over time. Now we want to add something unique to Abletat and that's called Color Tracker. Simply put, Color Tracker creates harmony in the selected area based on the melody and the color that you have selected. So let's experiment with this a little. With the playhead still positioned at 32 seconds, click on the color tracker icon and the event inspector window will pop up. Select melody two and the color white, then move the slider to the right. What this is going to do is instruct the software to play several notes instead of a single note and the pitch of these notes will be controlled by the white color in the picture the amount of notes or the depth of the chord itself will be controlled by the slider setting. The color tracker icon at 32 seconds also has this tail on it. Click on the icon and drag the tail all the way to the end of the timeline. This will make sure that the harmony starts at the keyframe and continues to the end of the timeline. So let's watch the video from the very start. Now let's continue editing and arranging our composition using Apple's GarageBand. To do this, you will need to export everything we have done in Express as MIDI. All you need to do is to go to File and scroll down to Export MIDI File. For this tutorial, we are using GarageBand 08 with three of the optional jam packs installed. 